Let's unlock Tainted Jacob. I haven't played this character in a hot minute. Oh, that's good. So a lot of people ask me, how do you play Jacob and Esau? I'm struggling so much with them. This will be the, the definitive guide. This is how you do it, all right? No memeing, no like all oh, skill issue, all right? I'm gonna be very frugal. Number one thing that you can do with Jacob and Esau is always make sure that they are together never ever ever separate them and they will get separated very often it is your job to make sure that they stay together that was a lucky secret room by me do not separate make sure you're always together there are some instances of damage that genuinely i'm gonna say it, it's it's plain unavoidable because you are playing with a double hitbox and that's also something you need to admit to yourself sometimes your hitbox is just too large and you can't that's not your fault that is awesome uh, I'll take that with you. We'll go to the downpour. You always want to go to alternate floors with Jacob and Esau. You need to buff both of them up. They can really handle the early floors. It's actually middle floors like mines and stuff where they start struggling. We don't have a key, so we'll have to wait until we get one. I saw that tinted rock back there. I'm kind of tempted to do that also. That was bad damage by me. I dodged that incorrectly. Since I think I've unlocked enough angel room items at this point that I think my angels are just by definition better than my devil rooms. Nice. Wow, that's lucky. Okay, fortune cookie, that's fine. I'll give this to you. Walk straight up. Big chubbo. Marry and reproduce. Bozo, it's me! Doesn't matter if it picks this up. Puts a small damage up. We can try finding the secret room, but it's a little tough on this floor based on the map layout, and I'm not gonna lie, it counts as basement one, which means that it's kind of weird. We could get a key though, so I think it's worth. What I'll do is check both sides of a secret room and get a key. Always use your double bomb potential as Jacob and Esau. It's the best thing in the world. I kind of want to go to the devil now. Ow. Well, we're not going to the devil. Okay, you know what? T I you remember when I said there was unavoidable damage? That's not it. I, th I'm just bad. <laughs> but I'm going to say that it was so I can cope. Since we missed our first devil opportunity, next time I get a deal, I'm just gonna take the devil room. I'm not gonna go angels anymore. Since we also have guppy opportunity, and we need to uh, buff ourselves up really quickly. Min Min's probably one of the worst fights you can have as Jacob and Esau too. You need HP, that much I know for sure. And then we'll marry and reproduce, rebirth got cancelled. Let's just uh, continue on. Not a bad run so far. Alright, so in this situation, I see that Esau has more health. I'm gonna put him in front so that when we exit this doorway, he is in... Meaning if there's any instantaneous damage, uh, he takes the hit and not the guy who has no soul hearts. to take my deal chance, you know? I probably should have given a couple more soul hearts to Jacob. That, that, that's actually just my fault. Look how the difference is a little absurd. In here we have Flatstone. Sure. I'll give Flatstone to the guy who has more tier rate. And we get starter deck. We'll switch up here and we can just start spawning. Oh hey, perfect. There you go. Fortune Cookie is highly underrated in my opinion. This gives so many cards and so many soul hearts for such a low charge rate. We don't have bombs, so we're not going to go donation machine. I just don't have enough money for shop. Take your medicine. Take your meds, everyone. Okay, clog is done for. Range up is whatever. I believe uh, Jacob or Esau has lower range. Hmm. Kind of sucky. Not worth to dedicate all my time to a devil deal to. So we'll just take the Emperor and go. Uh, damage clot doesn't really matter. I guess we could take this. Knife familiar isn't bad. My Priestess will use on another boss, and then we'll just fight our way out. Are you gonna stream face cam sometime? I was thinking that like one day when I'm just out of ideas for a, for a video, like I'm just running dry on an idea, and I'm not, I'm not getting lucky on a run for a video, I would just like turn on webcam. <laughs> I saw Sinvicta did, uh, what was it, like Isaac but I, I have an eye tracker? I was thinking I would do that, that sounds kind of fun. Since we are unlocking Tainted Jacob, we don't technically need to go to the alternate floors. But again, it's just so important that you do, because having that amount of items in your inventory is so necessary. Wow, that's good. Let's get a double bomb going here, one for the keeper, one for the secret room, which I did not get. I actually didn't get anything. I'm leaving, goodbye. Now this is a bit of a weird trick. You can get a double bomb here with one bomb. I think if you just make sure you're separated, go look against the wall, tap right just a little bit, it should double bomb properly, there you go. If you get too close to the wall, I've noticed it kind of messes up. In testing, at least. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, it's looking ever more increasingly uh, likely that I will become Guppy. I'm not doing the Guppy, uh, the Cursed Eye. I'll, I'll reveal it just so that I, uh, you know, don't see it again, though. 
full card. We could just get out of here. You know what? Sure. We haven't gotten a trinket just yet, and we are going to need one because we are going beast. So hopefully it reveals itself real soon. Alright, yeah, our DPS is actually falling off now. I need a, some kind of damage up. Like a flat normal damage up would go so hard because it's actually becoming pretty noticeable. I wanted to use a uh, High Priestess on whatever this boss room is, but then it turned out to be Gideon, so you know. That's my life. I can't believe I didn't get hit. Okay, no deal. That happens. I'll take this. Cool. Yeah. I don't really think it matters who uh, picks up the damage up. A lot of people like to give all their damage to one character or all their health to one. Or some people like to do it this way. For me, I, I just like to make sure everyone's kind of even. That's how I do it. But, you know, it's personal preference. It really doesn't matter. I think this is entirely worth it, by the way. One bomb for, what, like 7 billion mushrooms? It's gonna take a bit, but it's worth it. Alright. Treasure room unlocked. Telekinesis. Uh, it's not even worth, I don't think. Rosary is good. Telekinesis is a good item, but what I have right now is too good to pass up. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't know. Big risk, but the game's been pretty nice to me about Soul Hearts, so... Hopefully I don't just suicide by doing this. Teleport me. Oh, it was worth it! Even for this. Even for just this. It was super worth it. Nice. Item. Oh! That's an eternal heart too. That's an HP up. Okay, okay. That that made the floor way better than it was supposed to be. This was supposed to be like a bozo floor, I think. But we uh, we pulled through. That is not to say, though, that uh, it's not an easy run. Because this is still kind of rough. That helps a lot as well. Okay, these are these are I mean these are good items. Don't get me wrong. But I need stats. These are like good items to supplement your run. But if I don't get something soon, it's gonna be kinda tough. Hello? Oh right, guys, I found the run. I found it. I, I found it, guys. Ah yes. Me on my way to casually find C section on the Tainted Jacob run. It's cool too, because it's the one that I gave Flatstone to. I've been giving most of my damage ups to uh Jacob and not Esau. Which, uh, it has turned out to be very worth. You should get knife piece too. Honestly, I feel like it's not worth it, but in this situation I'll do it just to- Oh, why did that bomb last so long? That fuse was so long. I'm gonna do it just to show people how to do knife piece too with Jacob and Esau. And then after this, I will go buy soul hearts from the shop because I did just take some bozo damage. And I want to get some stats. Knife piece too. Okay. Ah, they really gotta disable that. That kinda always makes me mad. The fact that Soul Hearts can spawn in the Mom Shadow sequence and you can never get it always makes me feel kind of weird. Hold on, I gotta do a little thing here. There we go. Did not know you could do that. Yeah, there's a lot of tricks of the Mom Shadow thing that a lot of people don't know. But if you walk in and out of a doorway, you're invulnerable. Here, I'll show you. It's to prevent any unfair damage. You made it look easy. I mean, I just have a lot of experience. So for me personally, it is easy. But I, I'm not gonna blame anyone for struggling with that. Pile Jacob and Esau fight is actually kind of rough because the charge could really destroy us really fast. But luckily he's just teleporting and that's probably his easiest attack. So we're good. Oh my god. Nothing, huh? Okay, well, we'll take the range up, obviously. We'll go down because I'm not going to Mausoleum because I am not a bozo. Another soul heart. Oh, but what is that? What if that's a chaos card? Like, what if it's an ancient recall? Uh, Arrowwalk is broken. We went with Arrowwalk, I think. Nice. There's a speed up in there, which is awesome. Speed up's good. Go for the no, thank you. There are times where I'll take it because I'm pretty base, but in this situation where I got a kind of hard focus Jacob and Esau moment, I'm, I'm not gonna. Apologies. So, all the. Curse of the Tower Enthusiasts. Fight Mom real quick. That baby got knocked out of the park. Genuinely. He's out of here. Don't know where that guy went. Honestly, despite our damage being like feeling like we haven't done much, I, the C-section is hard carrying and it went a lot better than how it was supposed to go. We can do this and get damage up actually. So what we'll do is put Esau here, Jacob here and take both. Come in here. Yeah, it's okay. We'll use full card, then we'll give away Esau's because he is the Polaroid. That way, C section stays with negative, and I keep the damage up. Uh, who is alive in this situation? Thank you. Oh, ho, ho. honestly, dude, I, I, th this run is me making a case for uh, Fortune Cookie being a little bit over bro. Uh, it's a little broken, I'm not gonna lie, boys. This thing's a little nuts, so the amount of soul hearts this thing has given me is so dumb. I got a. 
Can you do a glitch crown tainted loss run after this? I will have you know that I have actually recorded that exact run recently, so don't worry about it. It'll come. There's a there's another tears up there, but I can't get that. Well, yeah, I can, right? You're supposed to hit the buttons and then you can get it. Uh, oh god, this is the worst room. Is uh, as long as I take my time here, it's actually not the worst room. Now I get a few tears up. I feel like I have max tears, but I'm gonna take it with Jacob just in case. There you go. Now we have maximum tears. Take to Jacob.exe too soon? Very soon. I predict within this month or next. There's a soul heart. You guys will know when it's out. It'll be one of the only times that I add everyone in my Discord. Can you? I, dude, the amount of soul hearts, man. Okay. Bob curse. I don't think I can. I right, wait. Yeah, I can. If I do it like this, we can get both. Oh. Yeah! Now, we got a banger. Let's give starter deck to you. Uh, we don't need any of those. Alright, let's go. Average rabbit birth rate, right here. Alright, I left the red key in the mines, I'm pretty sure. And I did it in the boss room, that way I can't miss it. Uh, take this for stats. And it should be right here. Oh my god, where is it? Oh! You're freaking me out, man. Don't do that. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that I dropped it again. You're gonna trick me. I know you want to trick me, it's not going to happen. I don't think there's going to be a single card that can drop that would make me want to take over the arrow lock, so I don't... Maybe I should have given 4.5 volt to uh, Jacob, who has Fortune Teller instead, but whatever. Can you explain some stuff in the notes? You were born wrong, rewrote this cancel, bring him the photo, wake up like that? Sure. For a lot of people that don't know, a lot of the fortune tellers, like the notes that show up, are a bunch of little mister... or like little, little easter eggs. Some of them are just like random bozos, like that one that just said give up is just like telling you to give up because it's being funny, right? But stuff like Rebirth got cancelled. Uh, back when we were going from Flash to Rebirth release, I believe like the game was like constantly delayed or like, oh, is it coming out? Is it not? Is it not? So it became a, a kind of a meme in the Isaac Reddit community, I believe, where people just said like, oh, Rebirth got cancelled. It's not coming out. And they got added to the fortune teller note pool. Uh, things like bring him the photo are actually just a reference to bring Isaac the Polaroid or Satan the negative at this point now, just so you can continue. Look to La Luna is just look to, I mean, look at, look for the secret room. Yeah, exactly. So Rebirth got canceled is basically like Silk Song modern day. You know what I mean? Like you could say Silk Song got canceled. Look to La Luna's the reference to the first Mortal Kombat. I don't know about that. So uh, if that's true, cool. Dude, this got so much more OP so fast. Thanks, Almond Milk. Oh, hey, cool. I think doing this will give me stats because of the Soul Heart. Nope, I'm wrong. Let's go. Do I feel sad for Isaac's mother? I think I feel sad for the entire family. That's the whole point, I think, right? Like, yeah, Isaac's dad stayed behind and he apologized, but he still messed up. Yeah. Isaac's mom was pretty much mentally insane, but she still cared for Isaac. The whole point is like, it's not really anyone's direct fault. You know, it's like, it's just a dysfunctional family. And that kind of sucks. That's why it's a good story. It's not like, oh, this one person did bad. No, it's like, damn, you know? Anyway, boom, painted Jacob. Red Redemption. Oh, I lost my arrow walk. Ah, who cares? I have Alba Milk C-section. Let's be honest. I'm just gonna skip. Let's go. You think I need an arrow walk to beat this? Oh my god! Holy moly. Honestly, my dodges were a little immaculate even till just now. Oh, I'm a god! Dogma, stop it! <laughs> That's like a really rare attack that I don't see too often. But I really like that attack, how it sounds. If I no-hit Dogma as Jacob and Esau, I'm kind of nasty, I think. There's so much blood on the floor! <laughs> Hello, Famine. Should I go for a hitless, you said? Okay, I'll go for a hitless run. Entirely hitless. It's gonna be weird because it's Jacob and Esau and there's a lot of red on the screen, so I can't really see. <laughs> Part of me can't even tell the difference between my bullets and my enemy. Uh, I have a reverse stars card. I'm gonna use it. LAR! Careful. Other side. Ah! You lost mantle. No, I didn't. <laughs> Shut up. What happens if I moon card? What? I'M SEPARATING! What is going on, GG? All done. Friend Finder unlocked. GG!
Let me go. Let me go. Holy shit. <laughs> Luckiest Isaac player alive. Not dealing with it. There we go. No! Am I the lost? Oh my god. Oh my literal god. Jesus Christ. <laughs>